I love fluorescence. I love bright colors. I love um, I love being a little bit aggressive <laughs> um, with the colors and with the marks. And I think that fluorescents are also kind of aggressive. They're they're not apologetic, um, and I feel like that's important for me too personally. Is to like stop stop this apologizing um, for the brightness, for the color, uh, and for what that can mean. I start the sketches with these ideas of like, what do I want to talk about and how can I formalize it with symbols? Um, and then I love abstracting and I love color. So uh, I'll start with like a formal sketch of what I want to do and how do I want to lead the viewer. Um, so like, where are my big shapes, which will anchor the painting? Um, where do I have play with rupture and space? Where do I want to have a pattern? Where do I have a flat space? Uh, where do I put specific colors, like light colors uh, push out towards you so they'll, you know, be something that comes at you and cool colors recede. Um, so just playing with these formal questions of abstraction, uh, color, space, shape, light. Um, so I'll sketch out these semi-vague ideas along with some type of question that I have for myself and then I'll go to the painting. I almost never draw with pencil on the painting. I feel like it's cheating. It's pretty fluid. Like um, when I draw on the painting, it's also with paint. So I kind of really go for it. And I think it's okay if it's like funny or fumbly. If you can see my hesitation in the brush, like I know some people want it to be exact and like it has to be perfect. And I don't personally think that's necessary. I kind of think it's okay to show the viewer that I'm working instead of trying to like grid it or project it or draw it perfectly and then paint it. I don't think that's necessary for a painting. Um, for me, that's not a painting necessarily, then it's a drawing. Paintings um, that are in this room at Praxis are all landscape. So the figures are gone. Um, and I took a deeper dive into just like ruptured landscapes. Uh, starting like at the end of graduate school. I realized that what I want symbolized is more time and place than it is necessarily a specific person. And so I started thinking about home and like how do I relate to home and how do I relate these symbols of what I'm trying to talk about. And I found that through like landscape, it made more sense. Um, so I'm from Puerto Rico originally. I was born in Mayaguez. Um, and so I started to kind of bring these landscapes that were ruptured, where I would bring like New York City like uh, brick with a Puerto Rican palm. Um, and as these places started to rupture more abstractly, they also ruptured in terms of like where these spaces exist and it became a mash. And that mash for me was important to my identity and who I am. I hope the viewers approach the work with joy. Um, I want them to feel, I want them to feel like they can understand or exist within the space and to allow themselves to open up to these spaces. Um, the paintings are fairly metaphysical or spiritual. They have things that don't necessarily exist with our naked eye in them. And they're also fairly invented because they're spaces that are ruptured between landscapes semi-real and semi-not in this configuration and I think what I want people to do or to feel when they come in is one I want them to feel invited and I want them to just like enjoy the ride you know and also just open themselves up to their own perception and their own way of seeing and being.